चैप्टर टेन काठमांडू सो बिफोर यू रीड डू यू लाइक ट्रेवलिंग द राइटर विक्रम सेत एंजॉयज इट वेरी मच सो द राइटर एंजॉयज ट्रेवलिंग इन हिज बुक हेवन लेक ही डिस्क्राइब्स अ लॉन्ग जर्नी फ्रॉम चाइना टू इंडिया वाई आर टीवे दैन नेपाल सो वन ऑफ हिज बुक इज हेवन लेक एंड देयर ही हैज रिटन अबाउट हिज जर्नी फ्रॉम चाइना टू इंडिया वाई आर टीवे टैन नेपाल Have you heard of places like Ajmer Sharif, Madurai, Sachi, Varanasi, Sarnath, and Helbet? So most of the places where devotees go for some reasons, for some prayers. Can you name some other places like this? So holy places. And he is asking for the, some of the holy places where people visit for some religious, some religious customs or religious celebration or the rituals, religious rituals. What do the surroundings of a holy place in your city look like? So holy place mentioned also. What do the surrounding of a holy place in your city look like? Think about it as you read Vikram Seth's description of Kathmandu. Now in this chapter we will see Vikram Seth's description how he describes Kathmandu. And we know Kathmandu is capital city of Nepal. I get a cheap room in the center of town and sleep for hours. The next morning with Mr. Shah's son and nephew, I visit the two temples in Kathmandu that are most sacred in Hindus and Buddhists. So, the writer said, the writer is saying that he slept nicely for hours because he has got a cheap room in the center of the town. The next morning with Mr. Shah's son and nephew, he visited two temples in Kathmandu. and those two temples are most sacred hindus and buddhist temples at pashupatinath a place at pashupatinath outside which a sign proclaims entrance for the hindus only there is an atmosphere of febrile confusions so at pashupatinath so it is a temple pashupatinath temple there is a sign board that says entrance is only for hindus there is an atmosphere of febrile confusion so febrile confusion means hurried activity complete chaos means people are in chaos and hurried uh, they are hurrying up to enter the temple priests hawkers devotees tourists cow monkeys pigeons and dogs roam through the grounds we offer a few flowers there are so many worshipers that some that some people trying to get the priest attention are elbowed aside by others pushing their way to the front a princess of the nepalese royal house appears everyone bows and makes way so everyone is trying to enter the temple and they give the way to whom a princess of the nepalese royal house appears when the princess appears everyone bows and makes way for her By the main gate a party of saffron clad westerners struggle for permission to enter and at the main gate a party of saffron clad means a group of saffron clad westerners they were westerners but they were dressed in saffron they were struggling to enter for permission to enter they were asking for the permission to enter the temple the policeman is not convinced that they are hindus but the policemen were not convinced that they are hindus because the entrance was only for hindus only hindus are allowed to enter the temple a fight breaks out between two monkeys then uh, two monkeys started fighting one chases the other who jumps onto shivalinga then runs screaming around the temple and down to the river the holy bhagmati that flows below and since the fight broke out so one jumped on the shivalinga and then it run runs through where it ran it went on screaming around the temples and down the river the bagmati river down the bagmati river it ran a corpse is being cremated on its bank and the river bank the corpse were cremated washerwomen are at their work and children bath so washerwomen were washing and they bathing children from a balcony a basket of flowers and leaves old offerings now wilted is dropped into the river a small shrine half protrudes from the stone platform on the river bank 
when it emerges fully the goddess inside will skip and the evil period of the kalyug will end on earth so belief is there shrine is a place of worship so small shape half protrudes from the stone platform so it was half visible from the stone platform on the river bank when it emerges fully the goddess inside will skip so the god it is believed that god is in that uh, shrine so god will emerge and the evil period of the kalyug will skip at the baudhnath stupa there is a baudhnath stupa the buddhist shrine of kathmandu there is in contrast a sense of stillness so it is a peaceful place means more silent place it is a comparatively silent place so at the uh, baudhnath stupa the buddhist shrine of kathmandu there is in contrast a sense of stillness its immense white dome is ringed by a road small shops stand on its outer edge many of these are owned by tibetan immigrants felt bags tibetan prints and silver jewelry can be bought here there are no crowds this is a heaven of quietness in the busy street around so it is said it is a heaven of quietness in the busy city which is outside outside of this place so heaven means a safe place kathmandu is revered mercenary religious with a small shrines to flower adorned deities along the narrowest and busiest streets with fruit sellers flute sellers hawkers and postcard shops selling western cosmetics film rolls and chocolate or copper utensils and nepalese antiquities so what is there so kathmandu is vivid mercenary religious with a small shrines to flower adorned did is along with the along the narrowest and busiest streets so these all are in kathmandu with fruit sellers flute sellers flute is a, a musical instrument which is blown which is uh, like uh, played by blowing air into it that is flute hawkers and postcards shop selling western cosmetics film rolls and chocolates or copper utensils and nepali's antiquities so these were the stalls or shops that can be seen on the roads of kathmandu or alongside with the roads of kathmandu film songs blare out from the radios car horns sound bicycle bells ring stray cows low questioning at motorcycles vendors shout out their wares i indulge myself mindlessly buy a bar of marzipan a corn on the cob roasted in a charcoal brazier on the pavement rubbed with salt chili powder and lemon a couple of love story cosmics and even a readers digest all this i wash down with coca cola and a now sitting orange drink and feel much the better for it so these are the about the kathmandu what you see and the shops of kathmandu i consider what route i should take back home if i were propelled by enthusiasm for travel per se i would go by bus and train to patna so how he will travel back he is writing here if i were propelled by enthusiasm for travel per se i would go by bus and train to patna then sail up the ganges past banaras to allahabad then up the yamuna past agra to delhi so how he will have to go delhi he will have to come to patna by train or bus then he will have to cross ganga and go to banaras and then allahabad and then following uh, yamuna agra to delhi so it is his tour plan so patna is in bihar and banaras and allahabad is in uttar pradesh but i am too exhausted and homesick today is the last day of august go home i tell myself move directly towards home i enter a nepal airlines office and buy a ticket for tomorrow's flight i took at the flute seller standing in a corner of the square near the hotel in his hand is a pole with an attachment at the top from which 50 or 60 basuris basuris flute protrude protrude in all directions means when the basuri seller sells basuri it is sticked in a long stick so it is propelled in or protruded in all directions like the quills or a porcupine so it will create a spines like structure so basuri will look like that 
it is placed in the bamboo stick bamboo stick like that they are of bamboo there are cross flutes and recorders from time to time he stands the pole on the ground selects a flute and plays for a few minutes the sound rises clearly above the noise of the traffic and the hawker's cries he plays slow, slowly meditatively without excessive display he does not shout out his wares so meditatively means thoughtfully off handed means casual not showing much interest in something so he does not shout out his wares occasionally he makes a sale but in a curiously off handed way as if this were incidental to his enterprise sometimes he breaks off playing to talk to the fruit seller so sometimes he stop playing flute and uh, start talking to the fruit seller i imagine that this has been the pattern of his life for years and this way he was selling he will not shout much he will sell occasionally he will he will uh, start uh, like selling and he will play the flute and occasionally he will take break and start talking to fruit seller and this he was he was doing for years i find it difficult to tear myself away from the square flute music always does this to me it is at once the most universal and most particular of sounds there is no culture that does not have its flute the reed na the recorder the japanese shakuhachi the deep the deep bansuri and hindustani classical music the clear of breathy fruit flutes of south america the high pitched chinese flutes each has its specific fingering and compass so different types of fru- uh, flutes are there which the uh, fruit seller was selling and it has different high pitched low pitched and different varieties of flutes with indian and western touch the flutes were present so he was selling those f- flutes each has its specific fingering and compass it weaves its own associations yet to hear any flute is it seems to me to be drawn into the commonality of all mankind to be moved by music closest in its phrases and sentences to the human voice its motive force too is living breath it too needs to pause and breathe before it can go on that i can be so affected by a few familiar phrases on the bansuri surprises me at first for on the previous occasions that i have returned home after a long absence abroad i have hardly noticed such details and certainly have not invested them with the significance i now do written by vikram sir 